Okay, here we go. This is to familiarize yourself with uh, actual gameplay. Dice, roll first, see who goes first. Got a six. So Matt's probably going to go first. I'll roll. Got a six, we tied, so you get to roll again. Got a two. Can't see it, see it. Two. Five. Guess I'll go first. <clears throat> Start for duel, you have to draw five cards in your opening hand. Five, opening hand. And then each turn you have to draw one card, so I draw a six card. Alright, I'm setting two Spell or Trap cards. And one Monster card. And I'm ending my turn. Now, I draw my sixth card. <clears throat> I'm going to normal summon my monster. And I'm going to set three back cards. And then since I went second, I get to choose whether I want to attack or not. And I'm going to attack Josh's face down card. Alright. His monster has 1400 attack points. This has zero defense points, so that means this monster dies. It goes to the graveyard. Checking my cards to make sure I have everything set just right, and I have my turn. Right. Before you end your turn, I'm going to activate Mystical Space Typhoon. This card allows you to destroy one spell or trap card on the field. I'm going to destroy that card. It is my Wall of Thorns. And I cannot activate it in response to his card, so it just goes to the graveyard after being destroyed. Now it's my turn. I draw. I curse. <laughs> I'll set one card. Set another card, so I have two set cards, and I will end my turn. I draw, where my draw face. <clears throat> I will activate my quick play full card and destroy one of Josh's set cards. Sure. My bomb's trap hole is a very good card to get rid of. <clears throat> now, I will normal summon another monster, another in motto. Attack. Yes. Directly. I can't respond to that. And attack directly. I cannot respond to that. <laughs> okay, both of my monsters attack directly, so that means he takes the full damage of their attack to his life point. Which would be 2,800. I don't want to set any more cards that I have in my hand, so now I'm going to end my turn after attacking. I'll wait till you get free to scrap the life points. Okay. Alright, I draw. I'm going to play Giant Trinade. This returns all spell and trap cards on the field to their owner's hands, except for this one since I I played it, so it was the graveyard. So I'll return these two. I will That's made a mistake, but I'm gonna monster reborn my Inferno Beetle from the graveyard. This card allows you to special summon a monster from either player's graveyard. I don't have any monsters. Yeah, I don't have any monsters either, so I made a horrible mistake. I'm incredibly sorry. Okay, I got confused. That's what we call misplay, Mr. J. I... End my turn.
What is the attack of your Infernity Beetle? 1200. 1200? Okay. I will set a monster card. And I will set a magic or trap card. I'll also set another magic or trap card. And one of my Inmatos will attack Josh's attack position Infernity Beetle. And I will do 200 damage to him, which is the difference in their attack. And now, since he doesn't have a monster on his side of the field, my other one is free to attack directly. Mm -hmm. Which he does. Now, I will end my turn, since I cannot do anything else. I draw. <clears throat> I'll move and play an Issyukai monster from my graveyard to special summon this monster. All because right. its effect it's an effect monster, and its effect says that this card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card can only be special summoned by removing from play one Issyukai monster from your graveyard. He's a special weird effect monster. <clears throat> do you respond to my summon? No, I do not, go. Okay. Then I will s set this monster with my, using my normal summon. I'll set this one. And with Aztecapede, I will attack one of your face off in mono monsters. Now, I'm going to activate a trap card in response to his attack, which will be Wall of Thorns, to destroy his attacking monster. What this trap card does is protect my monsters from being destroyed by battle. I'll end my turn after that. Okay. I'm going to tribute and my monster to summon my six star monster out onto the field. Giga Plant. He is one of the tricky Gemini monsters that I was talking about. Do you respond? No, I do not respond. <clears throat> now, I'm going to skip the step of resummoning him or Gemini summoning him by equipping a spell card to him, which gives him his effect right away. So I don't have to wait two turns. Now his effect is, I can special summon a plant type monster or insect type monster from my graveyard out onto the field, or from my hand out onto the field. And at this point in time, I'm going to use his effect to special summon my one in motto monster back out onto the field from the graveyard. Now I can only use this effect once per turn, so. I'm going to enter my battle phase and this in motto monster will attack your face down defense position monster. Alright, it's Beetle Worm. This is a flip effect monster, so when he attacks it flips it face up. And his effect is that your opponent has to discard five cards from the top of their deck to the graveyard when he's flipped. And this is what happened. Card number one. Card number two. Card number three. And card number four. One more. Card number five. <laughs> <clears throat> Giga Plant will attack for 24. Yep. And in Motto will attack for 14. Yep. Which drains Josh of the rest of his life points and thus ends the first duel. 